Here is your latest church news summary for September 16th, 2016 from tradcatnight.blogspot.com. Be sure to get to Trad Cat Night on a daily basis. Spend 15 minutes a day. If you are a website owner, make sure you add us onto your page. Bookmark us. Spread word of Trad Cat Night, the number one ranked traditional Catholic website worldwide. We start tonight's news off coming from the pseudo traditionalist publication Rorarte Cielli. Apparently, a poll has closed in which uh, they wanted to see what individuals out there had to say concerning the whole Neo SXPX uh, Vatican uh, personal uh, prelature uh, situation. And apparently, it has just closed. And according to this website, 77%, about three-fourths of the people said, yes, this, the society should go ahead. Now, the problem with this, of course, is since day one here at Trad Cat Night, we've been telling you to stay away from pseudo-traditionalists like Rorarte. And this is exactly what Archbishop Lefebvre would have said, Father Hess would say. Uh, unfortunately, these individuals are poisoned and they don't understand the full extent of this apostasy. Vatican II cannot be accepted. The new mass cannot be accepted. And it's simply illogical for people to be labeled, uh, for, for, for real Catholics to be labeled as Catholic by Francis when he is not holding the faith. So to shake hands with the enemy is illogical on many levels. And this is the type of crowd that unfortunately follows Rorarte Cielli and why We've been telling you you shouldn't be following pages like this. Moving along, we have uh, bishops rebuking and putting the warning out there for Catholics for choice. Uh, apparently, there's an uh, ad out there in which, quote-unquote, Catholics actually are support, uh, supporting abortion. Of course, you cannot support abortion and be a Catholic. Bishop Joseph Strickland, Bishop of the Diocese of Tyler, took to Twitter last night uh, to correct the assertion by pro-abortion lobby group Catholics for Choice, uh, public funding for abortion is a Catholic social justice value. Seems everything's falling under the social justice realm these days, whether it's from the Novus Ordo or just uh, you know this particular uh, group here, Catholics for Choice with a K. Uh, the abortion advocacy group ran a full page ad in dozens of newspapers around the country under the heading "Abortion in." good faith. Now, Bishop Strickland immediately responded and said, let us be crystal clear that Catholics for Choice is absurd. The murder of an unborn born child is a sin that no Catholic can justly choose. Now, continue to pray for Novus Ordo bishops like Bishop Strickland, who unfortunately are still following Vatican II and really, in reality, on a certain level, are, are is really no different uh, than Catholics for Choice. He's very much teaching and following heresy. Moving along, Coming from Vatican uh, Insider, we have the world is tired of dishonest charmers, fashionable priests, and leaders of pointless crusades. Coming from Francis, I'll start it off by saying some of us are quite tired of the modernists in control of the church. <laughs> Someone needs to take a look in the mirror. Uh, the world is tired of dishonest charmers and I dare say fashionable priests and bishops. People sense this. The people of God have this sense and they refuse and distance themselves when they recognize narcissists, manipulators, defenders of their own causes, leaders of pointless crusades, said Francis in a long-winded speech to a newly, uh, to newly appointed bishops attending a training course in Rome, touching on a number of aspects relating to their ministry. He started with the importance of making mercy pastoral in other words accessible tangible and possible to find mercy being the essence of what god offers the world francis has said staying within uh the same realm if you will with francis we have japanese buddhist leader meets with francis now this coming from catholic world news Francis received one of the leaders of the Tendai Buddhism in a September 16th audience, according to the Holy See uh, Press Office. Koai Moraki, 91, became the 257th Tendai Buddhist head priest in 2015. The founder of Tendai Buddhism, which is based in Japan, was Sacho back in 767. Now, commentary on Angel Queen went like this 
Is Francis shifting ecumenism and ecumenizing with Buddhism from the Tibetan to the Japanese branch as part of his Fernost politic, his Far East policy of appeasing the Chai Kams, who do not like the Dalai Lama? He has previously been the longtime representative of Buddhism at Vatican interfaith events such as those as a CC. I don't know. I will leave that question up to you all. Now we have, staying uh, with Angel Queen, we have Archbishop Chapu coming out and stating essentially ex he's exhausted or the exhausted U.S. political system uh, is in need of a spiritual renewal. And on a certain level, this is true. The world is tired of a democracy. We're seeing more and more people beginning to understand uh, just how the New World Order, these certain Jews using Freemasonry, have been knocking off Catholic monarchs, knocking off Catholic leadership, and implanting the world with their own plants in efforts to bring about this one world socialist republic. We need the Eagles. We need a return to Catholic monarchy. Now, in a major address on American political affairs, Philadelphia's Archbishop lamented that this year's presidential election features two such deeply flawed candidates, but went on to say that American society as a whole is facing a crisis. We've reached a moment when our political thinking and vocabulary as a nation seems exhausted, the Archbishop said, delivering the Tocqueville Lecture at the University of Notre Dame. He said that Christians must take action to revive a moral vision for American society. Moving along, we have coming from, well, various sources, but we have Carolyn Wu is stepping down from her post as Catholic Relief Services President and CEO. Uh, it's coming from the Lepanto Institute's Your Catholic Week in Review, so it seems Michael Hickborn has uh, broke this story. Today, Catholic Relief Services made the startling announcement that Dr. Wu is stepping down from her post, indeed, as its president and CEO. What is startling about is not so much the announcement itself, but the fact that the announcement made mention of Wu ending her supposed five-year term. To date, there's nothing in the public record suggesting term limits on presidents and CEOs of Catholic Relief Services, especially considering that her predecessor, Ken Hackett, was the executive director of the CRS from 93 to 2003 and president of CRS from 2003 to 2011, much longer than the five years. Even CRS's 2011 annual report announcing Wu's appointment as the new president and CEO makes no mention of a five-year term limit. CNA Catholic News Agency, again, another Novus Ordo website, is reporting tonight Christians in Nigeria are essentially target practice. And here's one of the bishops' response. We have Bishop Matthew Kuka. This being reported upon specifically by Adelaide Mina. For Bishop Matthew Kuka, persecution is not just history of the church. It's a reality that he lives every day. In the Diocese of Sokoto, located in northern Nigeria, ministry includes not only the normal sacramental and pastoral concerns of any other diocese, uh, it also includes regularly responding to violence and attacks against the small Christian minority living in a major Muslim area. Christians living in northern Nigeria today wonder uh, why have they and their institutions become target practice, Kuka told CNA. Christian churches and businesses, as well as the people who frequent them, suffer both targeted violences, violence at the hands of these Islamic extremists and destruction stemming from frustrations with the government, economy, and social order, he said. And after the attacks, Christian communities face a wall of bureaucratic challenges and lack of government support as they struggle to rebuild. So a lot of suffering going on in the world, ladies and gentlemen. I know here in the West, uh, we have it more easy, at least up until this point. Just wait till the economic collapse. It'll be a whole different story. We have to continue to pray for those, uh, not only in the Novus Ordo, but all uh, you know, traditional Catholic uh, bishops, for all those who are trying to figure out 
what's going on in the world. There's a lot of people asking questions, and I see a lot of emails on a daily basis and see this concern. We have to continue to pray, especially the rosary. I'll cover this in a major article tomorrow, but this is being published and perhaps is the major news story of the day. Rome's exorcist, Father Gabriel Amorth, has died at the age of 91 after a long, uh, you know, a long life fighting the devil. Now, he is the exorcist of the Diocese of Rome who, who drew worldwide attention. Uh, many of you know, he spoke about Fatima often, talked about how the Vatican and Roman generals basically under a whole diabolical spell and demonic possession. Uh, leaders of the Society of St. Paul remembered him with great affection and gratitude, SIR News reports. Uh, now he rests from his many battles with the devil, Spanish theologian Father Fortia told EWTN News Today. The priest first met Father Amorth in 1995 during theological studies about exorcism. He went on to say his doors were open to me, and for all priests, there were no mysteries and grandstanding. I could see his work and his simplicity. Let us keep Father Amorth uh, in our prayers uh, tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Again, every day, the five Ps. You should pray, be praying for the Pope, again for us, Pope Benedict the Sixteenth, for prelates, for priests, for souls in purgatory, and for poor sinners. And lastly, ladies and gentlemen, coming from the EWTN News again, we have Francis saying, bring people Christ's mercy, he tells new bishops. Like the Good Samaritan in the parable, you have been called to show mercy of God to the men and women God has placed in your path, Francis said to a group of new bishops. This kind of coincides with our a previous article which we topped uh, this segment off with. Uh, Be bishops with a heart wounded by such a mercy and so tireless in the humble task of accompanying the man who by chance God has put in your way, he encouraged. Francis's September 16th audience was with participants in his annual training course for bishops held in Rome, organized by the Congregation of Bishops and the Congregation of Eastern Churches. Men have the need of mercy, Francis said. The Good Samaritan is interested in man's recovery and his future. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for all of your latest church news be sure to stay here on trad cat night uh the blog spot specifically but i try to every few days get these news summaries out to you and uh go over for 15 minutes or so the top news stories of the day and again as you know there's so much information out there sometimes it's better to hear it audibly as opposed to going to some of these websites pseudo trad sites and sitting there and and trying to divest you know 100 links uh so that's kind of a service I provide to you. Hopefully uh, it works. But make sure you subscribe to Trad Cat Night so you can get all the latest videos, news, information, and radio shows. Bookmark tradcatnight.blogspot.com. Along the right-hand side, there's a plethora of information. New video section from a few months ago that's up, broken down per category. You can learn a lot just from those videos itself. There's a Twitter news feed in which I'm pumping out hundreds of news stories, keeping you up to date on all of this uh, latest information, whether it's the church or just general end time news stories. The poll question is up. It relates to the elections. Make sure you participate, trying to get some feedback from you all. Uh, the blog archive, about one third of the way down the page, about 4,500 blogs now uh, that I have compiled over the past two and a half years. So it's a great resource for you to learn what we're trying to, uh, to say here at Trad Cat Night. Of course, a lot of it is traditional Catholic apologetics, trying to point out to you why Vatican II is a new religion, why Freemasonry has taken over, what are the next steps, if you will, because Vatican II is a bridge over into the formalized New Age religion, and this is what the Blessed Virgin Mary was trying to warn us about in the real Third Secret of Fatima. In this Information war, ladies and gentlemen, I need financial assistance. Please click that PayPal button if you've been with us a month or so. Please make a financial contribution. I need ongoing and daily assistance in the matter so we can keep a strong social media team around us. Keep growing with visibility. You know, as as we continue to grow, we're going to be picking up, uh, you know, bigger name special guests that you can say. But also, I'm being asked to uh, appear on other radio shows. I appeared on two other uh, more prominent radio shows. One was affiliated with Fox News, Darkness Radio out in Minneapolis, and then also the Josh Tolley show uh, today. So 
that's the reason why we do what we do so we can eventually get the message of Fatima out so we can eventually get uh, souls in the true Catholic faith for conversions the end game is the salvation of souls so we crusade on if you don't want to do the PayPal route send me a message for cash check money ordered uh, inquiries to Apostle of Mary at hotmail.com for news tips articles videos blogs of your own please send those to me once again to Apostle of Mary at hotmail.com I'm now scheduling for radio show guests for October so please make sure that you are sending me a list of who you would like to see on Tradcat Night Radio and also leave me their email contact information. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, stay safe and God bless.